We have students here from Moose Jaw and some people from TSAF, so they went through. Um, this building uh, heats the legislature, the TC Douglas building, the Wascana Rehab Center, and I don't think most people knew that. I think it's great because they see a little bit of what the hands-on might be like afterwards. We're also at a point where we're trying to keep students in the province, so if they can see what the job opportunities might be or what things are like when, when they're actually working in the field, I think it's an excellent thing to do. I thought it was really neat to see. Um, prior to this, we'd been in the plant down at Poplar River, and it was uh, on a larger scale. So it was cool to come here and see the different types of boilers and just um, on a smaller scale, just look at everything. For me, reading it in the textbook is one thing, but being able to apply it and identify it, it's easier to retain the information. I think being at the plant was a good experience and met a lot of people and a lot of new knowledge came from there. Yeah, there's a lot to do with power engineering coming up. You know, There's a lot of stuff happening in Virginia, Saskatchewan. So and they all need power engineers, so we got to start somewhere. When we have positions open, we interview people and we go from there. You just want to find people who are interested, that's all that matters. We have, um, as you're aware, the, uh, the apprenticeship program where people work and then go to school for a few weeks a year, uh, but there's more and more where the schools are working directly with, uh, with employers and with places of employment where students are getting out trying to do some things hands-on and learning what it's actually like in the field. So that's actually happening at a high school level and also at a post-secondary level as well. So these students will actually get an entry-level certificate on this so it will be beneficial to them in future years.